Hello, Algebra 2 students. So today we are going to continue our study of graphing quadratic functions. And today we're actually going to graph them instead of just looking at the key features. So again, as a reminder for these key features, when you're graphing quadratic functions, if it's in standard form, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, it opens up if your a value, your lead coefficient is greater than zero. It opens down if your lead coefficient is negative, which means it's less than zero. Your x, the symmetry, remember, is a vertical line located at the equation x equals, and then it's negative b over 2a. To find your vertex, the x coordinate is at negative b, com negative b over 2a, comma, whatever your y coordinate is. And to find your y value, you're going to substitute that x value into your function. And finally, your y-intercept is located at 0, comma c. Remember, c is the constant of the function. So when you're graphing them, besides having these key features, in addition, you need to have a table of values. You want to make a table in order to have at least five total points on your graph. So your y-intercept can be one of them. Your vertex, obviously, is going to be one of them as well. But what you want to do, like it says at the bottom here, we want to surround your vertex with points. So once we figure out our vertex, that's going to help us identify which points we should be picking. So we're going to step out on both sides. So we have two examples we're going to go over here today. Um, this first one, again, the directions for all of these are going to be to graph each function. So if my function is f of x equals 2x squared minus 4x minus 3. First off, going over the basics, my a value is 2, my b value is negative 4, and my c value is negative 3, just to get us started here. Now, since my a value is positive, this one's going to open up. It's going to look like a u when we're finished. Uh, let's do the axis of symmetry next. Remember, it's x equals negative b over 2a. And let's see here. So... I'm going to have negative times negative 4 over 2 times a, which is 2. So negative times a negative is positive. So 4 over 4 is going to be at 1. So my x of the symmetry is at x equals 1. That means my vertex is at 1 comma something. To figure out the something, we're going to plug in 1 into my function. So y is going to equal 2 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1 minus 3. 1 squared is 1, so we're going to have 2 minus 4 minus 3. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 3 is negative 5. So my vertex is at 1, negative 5. And my y-intercept is at 0, comma, my constant, which is negative 3. So again, if I plot my vertex, again, we said it's at 1, negative 5. So it's going to be here on the graph. Uh, my x of symmetry is at x equals 1. So it's going to look like this. So remember, my graph is symmetric about the axis, so it's going to go on both sides of it. And again, my y-intercept is at 0, negative 3. Okay, so I'm going to list those two points that I know, the vertex, which is 1, negative 5, and the y-intercept, which is 0, negative 3. So again, I have to have 5 total. So if I plugged in, if I already got 0, negative 3, we need to go to the right as well. So it looks like we should plug in a 2. So if I plug in a 2 and for x in my function, we're going to have 2 times 2 squared minus 4 times 2 minus 3. So 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So we have 8 minus 8 minus 3, which is negative uh, 3. So we have the point 2, negative 3, which is going to be there. Okay, now I need two more points. So let's go to the left and to the right one more. So if we go to the left, another one, we should plug in a negative 1. Again, wherever I have an x, I'm going to plug in a negative 1. So 2 times negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1 minus 3. So negative 1 squared is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Negative 4 times negative 1 is a positive 4. So 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 minus 3 is positive 3. So I have the point 1, positive 3, which is going to be here. And then if I also plug in one more to the right, which would be located at 3. Again, wherever I have an x, I'm going to plug in a 3. So we're going to have 2 times 3 squared minus 4 times 3 minus 3. So 3 squared is 9. 2 times 9 is 18. 4 times 3 is 12. So we have 
18 minus 12 minus 3. Well, 18 minus 12 is 6, and 6 minus 3 is also 3. So I'm going to have the point 3 comma 3. 1, 2, 3. So I've got five points, notice, on my graph here. So now I'm going to draw in my parabola. Again, it's got a curve to it. Okay, so let's do one more. Same kind of thing. So it says we have y equals negative x squared plus 6x minus 9. So again, my a value is negative 1, my b is 6, and my c is negative 9. So since my a value is negative, <clears throat> this one is going to open down. Remember, my axis of symmetry is a vertical line at negative b over 2a. So I'm going to have negative 6 over 2 times negative 1. So I'm going to have negative 6 over negative 2. Negative 6 divided by negative 2 is a positive 3. So my axis of symmetry is at 3. I'm just going to go ahead and put it on my graph while I'm working here. There we go. My vertex means it's going to have a, or I should say means, my vertex is going to have a coordinate of 3 comma something. So to find my something, I'm going to plug in 3 into my function wherever I have an x. So I'm going to have negative and then 3 squared plus 6 times 3 minus 9. So that's going to be negative 9 plus 18 minus 9. Okay, so negative 9 plus 18 is a positive 9, and 9 minus 9 is 0. So it's located on the x-axis at 3 comma 0, so it's right there. And then my y-intercept is 0 comma, remember my constant, which is negative 9. So it's going to be located here. So here's my two points that I know already. So again, 3, 0, and 0, negative 9. So again, I've got to have five points on my graph. Remember, it's symmetric. So let's pick points to the left and to the right. So if I go to the left, I would be at 2. So if we plug in a 2 for x, we're going to have negative and then 2 squared plus 6 times 2 minus 9. So this is going to be negative 4 plus 12 minus 9. Negative 4 plus 12 is 8, and then 8 minus 9 is negative 1. So I've got the point 2, negative 1. We do the same thing if I go to the right. So this time, if I go to the right one, I'm going to be plugging in a 4. So we're going to have negative, and then 4 squared plus 6 times 4 minus 9. So 4 squared is 16, so I'm going to have negative 16 plus 6 times 4 is 24. So negative 16 plus 24 is 8, and 8 minus 9 is again negative 1. So we have the point 4, negative 1. And we need to have five total points. Right now we have four. So for my fifth one, let's go to the left again. Let's plug in a 1 this time. So we are going to have negative and then 1 squared plus 6 times 1 minus 9. So 1 squared is 1, so we're going to have negative 1 plus 6 minus 9. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5. 5 minus 9 is negative 4. So 1, negative 4. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 points on my graph. You can always have more if you like. So then I'm going to sketch my parabola. And voila. Notice it opened down like I was expecting it to. Okay. So that's the basics for graphing parabolas. If you have questions, please let me know.